Hello, my friends. I am going to put reading and math together again today because they are very simple and they aren't really lessons. They're just practicing what we already know. So for reading, it gives you two options of what to do for reading. I'm giving you two options. They give you one option. What they have is to take your words into pay like a memory game. And if you'd rather, I'm sure you still have one of these game boards from being in your packet. So take your word card, your little word cards or your big word cards that you have for this week. Or you could even use all of them and play this game instead of a memory game. Either one is fine with me, but make sure you're practicing reading those words and playing the game board. So all you would need is a mark, two different markers, someone to play with, and your word cards. Like I said, you can use your word cards from just this week or all of the weeks. And no making up your own directions to the game so that you can beat your parents this week. Give them a chance. So that's reading. For math, on the back of yesterday's game board is one of the worksheets where you're going to practice with the numbers that you have been making this week. Now, parents, I know that the hundreds is very difficult for some of your students. If you want to just use the tens and the ones, that is what we would work on first in the math book. Hundreds comes later on during the school year. I didn't make these packets. We're just doing the best we can. So if it's too difficult for your student to get the concept of the hundreds square, that's okay. Just go ahead and use the tens and ones. We want to eventually be able to identify at least if I have a written number from 1 to 120 and be able to count that far. So some of these are a little bit higher than that, and that's okay to modify your student's worksheet if that's what works for them. I am perfectly fine with that. So you're going to look at the picture, boys and girls, and you're going to count. How many big hundred squares do I see? How many sticks of 10? Remember, sticks of 10 are those tall, skinny sticks. And how many ones? So here I have one hundreds block, one skinny stick of 10. I'd, so I'd write a one, a one, and then I'd count the ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So then I would have seven ones here. And if I squish that number together, it would be 117. Now, if you look over on this picture, they're trying to trick you because there are no tens sticks. So what number would you write if there was none of them? That's right, you would write zero. So this is the math, that's the reading. You can make a couple different games with it and that is fine with me. And I will see you all on Monday.